Oh, this is Video Game Stupid. Back with another Let's Play of Queen's X. Okay, start off. I'm gonna play as a different character. No, I'm not gonna play as Tifa. I don't feel comfortable playing as Tifa because I suck with her very, very much. Oh, just well, sh sh this girl's really cheap. This girl's really fucking cheap. The girl with the gun. I've already done her before. Hanma, Hanya. Uh, she's really cheap too. I'm gonna try someone. Let's try Miss. <laughs> Night Warrior Girl. I don't like that costume. That's alright, but... I want the fucking one... Yes, that's my one. That's the one I like. Hot redhead one. Okay, you know what? You know, this is what I really want to talk about. Okay. Fucking recently... There's been all this nonsense. All this fucking retardation hurry about, you know, fucking SJW, social justice warriors. If you don't know who they are, well, you're in luck then, I guess. I wish I didn't know who the fuck they were. I wish they were just, you know, something I didn't have to fucking worry about with my fucking video games. But you know what? Now it's like... Oh, wrong button. Oh, no. We gotta fucking shut everything down. We gotta fucking do this and that and the other. And just, you know, try to fucking ruin video gaming and just try to make change it and shit and make it fucking worse than it already is you know it's already video games are already coming back for me video game i don't I, I i kind of hate modern video gaming like i just can't fucking you know too much dlc too much fucking retardation everything seems so politically charged like you know oh this game you know it's got to have this and that and the other change and it's got to do this it's got to appease to the audience it's got to appease to this and that like, oh no, this video game can't be like the way it was before. It's got to appease to a certain group, or it's got to appeal to, you know, fans of fucking Call of Duty or fucking Halo or just fucking stupid fucking bullshit so it can get sales and all this other fucking bullshit. Or it's got to be completely censored. You know, we got to fucking censor shit. Like, oh no, Rainbow Mika, she can't have her butt jewel anymore. She can't have her butt slap anymore. You know, we already showed it off, and, you know, people are, you know, happy about it and shit. No, people are praising it and shit. Well, not really praising it. They were happy about it. It's like, oh, right. You know, Rainbow Mika, she's like, she's got, she got a butt jewel. She has a butt slap of her fucking super now. But now it's like, oh, we can't fucking do that. We're afraid. Capcom's a fucking pussy-ass little fucking bitch fucks. They don't want to fucking put it in there because they're afraid, oh, the SJWs might try to take their game or to just end ruin it or something or, or fucking go against them or something. Say that they're misrepresenting women or mistreating women or something. These fucking fictional characters. Not even real fucking people. Just fictional characters that, you know, fucking, you know what? They're there to enjoy. You know what? If people want to fucking enjoy butt slap, butt jiggle and stuff, you know, it's bad enough in real life, you can't really enjoy it anymore. It's like, you know, they, they say, oh, you can't do this and that and the other. Which is, makes sense, you know, too many crazy people out there doing shit like raping people and fucking grabbing people's asses at conventions and shit. You know, that makes sense, but, you know, to fucking say that you can't fucking, you know, enjoy this type of video game character's butt slap or something, or you can't fucking enjoy this and that and stuff. Like, a group of people who fucking SJ, feminist SJW fucking retards thinking they're fighting for something... Like, oh, we speak for everybody. We speak for everybody. We don't think people should be able... We don't think if men or women alike should be able to enjoy such a thing. It's like, it's not just men who enjoy fucking seeing a woman slapping her butt. You know, you don't think a, another fucking woman would enjoy that too? There are lesbians in the world too, you know. There are fucking lesbians that exist out there. And they enjoy probably... And they enjoy that kind of shit too. Like, I've had people... I've uploaded pictures of, like, you know, fucking cosplayers and stuff on my DeviantArt channel. And I've had, you know... Not just guys, but girls too. Say, oh, they, they get off. They either they enjoy it so much that they, they like, you know, they're like, oh shit, this is making me. This is so fucking hot, or that kind of shit. You know, it's not just fucking men who enjoy, you know, the female form. But no, SJWs. They think they know everything. They think they know everything about every single fucking thing, and you know, and they don't. They don't even. I don't even. They barely even play video games. They apparently hate video games so much and shit, but they sit there fighting it. It's like. Ugh, I can't enjoy video games because I'm a fat fucking whale on Tumblr with blue hair. I'm a fat fucking piece of shit making all these fucking whale noises and shit. Whale fucking calls. Fucking blubber shooting out of their fucking asshole. Fucking, fucking their fucking lard shooting out of their fucking ass cracks and shit. No one wants any of that, so you have to, they feel the need to just take it away. Take it away, you know what? If men and women can't enjoy me in real life, 
they should not be able to enjoy their fictionalized fucking fan service. And that's what it is. It's just fan service. No one's fucking getting hurt. No one's. It's not like a fucking hentai game like this. And that's what I'm resorting to do. I'm just gonna play this fucking hentai game. Fuck Street Fighter Five. I'm not even. Fuck it. Not just because of the SGS, because Catcom's such fucking pussy fucking shit. That's why. I wasn't planning on getting Street Fighter Five anyway. Like you know, I'm just. I'm pretty much dumb. Well, fighting is for the most part I'm dumb. I'm like you know, I'll play a fighting game every once in a while, but it's probably not gonna be a Street Fighter game. Like I don't know. Online really has just done it in for me. Online has really just wrecked it for me. Like, oh, I just hate fucking playing online. I mean, I know, oh, you can just play fucking single player. Well, you know what? It's just not the same. It's really just not the same. Like, really, it's not the same at all. It's playing, all, it's playing against someone. But, you know, online is just not the way to go for me. Online is just fucking sweethearted. But, yeah, fucking... Oh my god. I barely haven't been paying attention to actually what's going on in the fucking game right now. Like this game. And right now we're fighting the wolves, and I'm gonna die. Shit. Alright, slide attack, slide attack, slide attack, slide attack, slide attack, slide attack. Dead. <laughs> Ew, he's like right against that guy. He's got his nutsack up against that other dude's fucking ass crack. That's gross. But yeah, it's 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 fucking it's just this just pissed me off like that's pissed me off so much other censorship that's pissed me off fucking Daryl Live Extreme Free let's talk about let me talk about that let me fucking talk my two cents about that all right so Daryl Live Extreme Free a game series that has been around for as a, over almost a decade now probably yeah I think it's been around since like 2003 or something so it's been yeah over a decade. It came out for the Xbox, came out for the PS, uh, Xbox 360 with Dead or Alive Extreme 2. I used to own that game. I have horrible memories of that game. You know, I enjoyed the game, I enjoyed the fan serviceness of that game, but just, uh, there's like this fucking item collection mini game or something, like, not really mini game, but it's like a part of the game where you have to, like, get the other girls in the island to, like, like your character, your chosen character's outfits and it's really fucking con convoluted like you have to like get your uh, your like your fucking love meter up to a certain point with them and then you have to like figure out exactly if they like completely max out in their love meter and then like if each girl has like their own like different swimsuit catalog that they can have and they're, like they're all different depending on the girl like Kasumi has a different outfit different outfits and then like the most risque outfits are like the most expensive ones for each character and they cost a lot of money, and you have to like pl either play a lot of volleyball, play a lot of mini games, or just do a lot of gambling in order to get like the more expensive ones. And then, of course, oh my god, oh my god, I I have nightmares because I have times where like you know I lost like billions of fucking dollar, billions of fucking Mesta, Zenny, whatever it's called in that game, whatever the money currency is, Zach, Zach dollars, that's what it's called, it's Zach money, because it's Zach's, it's, um, Zach's island, that's why the whole entire place is happening in the first place, but yeah, it's like, it costs a lot of money, and in order to get the girls around the more risque items, you have to like, get their love meet up to a certain point, and if you have it up, even if you have it maxed, there's no guarantee to accept the item, no, you should just like, sometimes it just like, drop it or something, and basically what happens when they love the item, like, there'll be, like, a heart. When you actually play as a girl, you see, like, a heart icon next to the swimsuit you gave them with the other character. So, Kasumi, say Kasumi gives, you know, Ayane a swimsuit. It's just really hard to do because, you know, Ayane, by default, hates Kasumi. Because, you know, the whole entire Ninja Clan thing, case Ayane is jealous because of Kasumi because, you know, she's, like, a legit you know, daughter and everything, or she's like, you know, has parents, or, yeah, all, and she has like, you know, Hayate, Hayate's love, and, and Ayane doesn't get it as much, so she's all jealous, why, why does it say go, she's supposed to be dead, oh, <laughs> what the fuck, that's never happened, oh my god, it's like telling me to go, I didn't kill her yet, and then, I don't even know, fucking Chun-Li bitch, <laughs> Fuck your shit up. Anyway, yeah. Get, to get Kasumi to get Ayane's outfit, you have to have yeah, your love meter with Ayane up to a certain level of Kasumi for Kasumi. And then when you gift her the item, they'll say like a message or some kind of bullshit. And, oh my god. I have nightmares about like, you know, paying like shit tons of money for like the most expensive and risque outfits. 
and then them rejecting it outright or just dropping it. Sometimes they actually throw it away, and it's like, what? I paid so much money for that shit, and you just throw it away? I spent so much time fucking grinding and gambling. Oh, you just want to fucking beat their faces in sometimes. But just what they're alive, they're fighting series is for. You can go there and beat their faces in because they rejected your fucking outfit. What a, what a nice fucking, what a nice, you know, just just nice going back and forth, you know. They reject your outfit, you go into their life five and beat the shit out of them, pretty much. With Bayman, well, yeah, with Bayman, who fucking wrestled him to the ground while he's wearing on his fucking uh, boxer rape outfit, which is what a lot of people online used to call it, the rape outfit, because he was wearing on just his fucking uh, tights, his, I don't know what kind of tights they were, like wrestling tights or something, I don't know. Anyway, yep, my first death. Wow, they raped the shit out of me. Whew. Damn, she has some nice hitties. Anyway, yeah. Basically, in Dead Alive Extreme 2, when they actually, like, like your outfit, they'll, like, it'll actually, like, um, when, they, when there's a heart icon, like, the, the CP will actually sometimes randomly wear on that outfit on any given day. So, like, if you have, and it was weird because there was, like, this bunny outfit, and they would automatically like it. So, if that was, like, the only thing they liked, they would only wear on a bunny outfit. Which is cool for a while, but then it gets kind of boring seeing him only wearing a bunny outfit. The bunny bikini. So it's like, you know, you want to get to actually like other stuff. Like the more risque outfits. Like, I remember, I think one of the most risque ones was like Helena's outfit, I think. If I remember correctly. That was definitely risque. And also, of course, Lisa's. One of Lisa's swimsuit outfits. <laughs> wow. But yeah, anyway... I ended up selling the game because I had like a che I had like a checklist, like an actual printed out checklist, a colored printed out checklist I got from the library, and it showed like all like you know, which girl had like which item, which swimsuit liked, and I was so deep into the game and it was just ridiculous. And then one day I just said, you know what, this is too much. This is too much. Like I'm like it felt more like I was like trying to like actually work towards making a game more fun and interesting and that was not really what I wanted to do so I just said you know what fuck this um, this is too much work and I don't really want to go for all this work just to make the game more interesting and fun and exciting and sexy and all that shit so I said you know what fuck it I, I literally took the game this is what I did for uh, I did the same thing for Final Fantasy 11 for the 360 but I took the fucking game I took it went down to the, um, the closest garbage can outside and it's fruit and I literally just, I didn't bother selling it I just threw it in the fucking trash. This is really cheap. I like this. That was cool. I should do it more often. I just trashed it. I trashed it like stream too. And I said, you know what? Never again. Never again. And since then, I have not bought it with the game. You know, I've played Rumble Roses. I think I did the same thing with Rumble Roses too. For some reason. I don't know why. Or maybe I did. Or maybe I sold it. I don't remember. But I bought that game again on digital. And I've been enjoying that game. Of course, been joining. I did a let's play that like not even a few months ago, sometime this year earlier. But yeah, Dead Alive Stream too. I uh, but Dead Alive, but Dead Alive Stream free for no. I wasn't. I wasn't even planning on getting it. I knew it was. I knew they were developing developing the game. I knew it was being made. I knew it was going to come out eventually. I wasn't really really planning on getting it because I knew it was going to be the same kind of nonsense I did deal before. But now it's just like I'm just kind of pissed after hearing about this. Like you know, you know, cannot. Uh, not, not Konami, fuck, fuck Konami, fuck Konami and their stupid bullshit, you know, fucking over Hideo Kojima like the way they've been doing, but yeah, um, Tecmo, Team Ninja, Tecmo, those people, they're like, oh, sorry, we're afraid, they they pretty much said they're afraid of releasing, um, Daryl of Extreme Free to Western audiences, pretty much the same reason why Catcom censored out, um, Rainbow Mika's butt jiggle. Actually, the reason why they censored that out was because Ride Catcom did this thing with Rainbow Mika's butt jiggle and Cammy's um, camel toe intro because they censored that. They they changed the camera on Cammy's intros, so it wasn't showing as much fucking uh, much as much camel toe as before. Because it, it would get an M rating. Like really, that's your excuse? That's the worst excuse. Like really, a fucking beating and getting a okay, getting a fucking M rating because of a butt slap. Like. What the fuck? I I don't think so. That sounds really fucking realistic. And a lot of people are like, oh, that sounds that sounds that makes sense. Like, no, no, it doesn't. <laughs> How can I get a fucking M rating because of a fucking butt slab? Like, get get fucking real, seriously. Getting a fucking M rating because of a fucking butt slap. Oh no, they slapped their butt. 
It's so provocative. It makes me. It makes people instantly fucking enriled. You gotta give it an M rating. Like no, no, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Like, does this mean that fucking all the King of Fires games that have Joe Higashi mooning the player, they should get M ratings too because he's like fucking pulling his shorts down and showing his fucking butt? I don't know. This is this is why this is why I hate modern gaming. It's so fucking political. It's just so much. It seems less about video games, more like about political nonsense and like who, which fucking, I don't know. It's, it's like the government's getting involved, or just it's really stupid people who know nothing about video games getting involved in the video games and like ruining it and wrecking them and just trying to make them what they are. PC fucking pieces of shit. I don't just mean PC as in computer. I mean PC as in politically correct. So, it's just why I don't really play a lot of fucking modern games anymore. Like, I, I just can't be bothered. It's like, you know what, oh, this, this game's gonna have all this change on me and shit. I mean, I can understand some changes, like, you know, like, some of those Dragon Traveler games, or P Dragon Traveler, Dragon whatever game, D Dungeon Dungeon Traveler, the games with, um, the lowly characters. I can understand that, because I saw some of the uncensored footage of that on Censored Gaming's channel. Check him out. There's a lot of fucking uh, videos on censored gaming and whatnot, like what games were censored and what was changed, and you know all that shit. Informing about all that, and I saw some of the changes. Like a lot of the characters look really fucking young. Like I'm like, wait, this girl's like fucking eight years old, and she's like 